All right, YouTube, what's up? Crypto Jack back at it again, here to talk to you about two things. One, time scales, different time preferences, daily, four hour, et cetera, that kind of thing. And second, log versus linear. These are things, both of these concepts get brought up a lot. What's the best time frame to look at? Is log better than linear or vice versa? So let's dive right into it and I'll give you some examples and kind of share some thoughts on those subjects. So here is our Bitcoin chart. Again, this is what we've set up. And in, in, if you are unfamiliar with how we even got to this point, you're supposed to be doing this along with me, right? So I have YouTube videos in this playlist. If you go to the very first, first, second video, we show you how to set this up, get everything looking just like this. And then you can, you can play along with us. Now, the first thing I want to tackle is the log versus linear. And then we can kind of get into the other stuff. The log versus linear, down at the very bottom right of TradingView, there's a little button. It says log. Right now, it's highlighted. Uh, it may not be for yours. I forget what the default is. This should be defaulted, but I can't remember if I've clicked it along the way. So anyway, if I turn log off, so if we are now in linear, can you effectively trade this in any in any way, in, in any semblance? So like, can you make heads or tails of this? And I mean, going back from back in here, bringing it to current. There, there's no shot. There's no nothing you can do. I mean, at best, you can draw some sort of like parabolic uptrend, zooming out, you know, over 10 years, but that's not really helpful. So conversely, if we switch to logarithmic, and again, we are on the week, right? So this is over a very long period of time for Bitcoin. We can all of a sudden do useful things such as, I don't know, a regression curve and add a, a bit of a ceiling. So now we have this, way to encapsulate Bitcoin's price action. Now, realistically, if I fiddled with this long enough, you would see it's something like this, where we actually fell a little bit short of hitting the, the regression curve highs. And this is a, a subject for another, uh, another video, but it would look something like that. But punchline is, okay, we are using logarithmic data to build a a support and resistance model on the macro scale. Now we have something useful. This is my point. So very easily I can, I can tell people who say, oh no, linear is much better way to trade on the macro. No shot because I can't even do something like this on the macro. So let's, let's just say, okay, forget all that. Forget all that, Jack. That's just a, that's a one-off. Let's look at the price action like this. Um, and this may not be the best example, but we'll try it. So if I turn log off, even this, so we're now we're back in linear on Binance. And the reason I said this wasn't probably a great example is because the price history doesn't go back as far enough as, as I, as I was wanting, but it's still good enough. And in this, this, if I look at the current price action, it's hard to find anything useful back in here, much less say, you know what? There was a sort of downtrend that broke out. Like, and especially it's hard to see that the 10 K and how much, how important $10,000 was. In fact, $10,000 was a sort of midpoint for all the price action throughout this entire range. And we can go over that as well at another point. Uh, but, but if we turn on the log curve, well, all of a sudden that's super, super, super clear. And you can see, so log versus linear, it's a, it's a matter of, um, it scales the candle with the percent growth. So when I turn this off, a great example here is, is using uh, like the measurement tool. So for example, if I wanted to measure, say that point down to the lows and then it, drag it upwards, you'll see that the numbers, so the numbers right here don't change at all. And this is just a way to play with log versus linear. Okay. You see how those numbers don't adjust in any way, but if I flip this thing to log, watch those same numbers when we use our measurement tool. Watch what happens. So let's say we wanted to measure from, you know, this point down for whatever reason, that, that little span of time, but then shift it upwards. You'll see that those numbers start to grow because this is being adjusted in real time. And that is what's happening with a log chart, a log uh, versus a linear chart. So that's what's happening here. So I am a big fan of leaving crypto on log because the price action is so explosive. Sometimes you will miss larger trends if you leave things on uh, linear. Now, that being said, lin there is a place for linear. So linear analysis is really good for when price is in a range. So this is actually a pretty good example of price being in the range. The All the price action from January 1st of 2021 to present. So everything from here to up in here, you know, this is the range, it's ping-ponging around. So if I kind of 
fiddle with the chart and adjust it to where we see that. Watch what happens when I go from log and turn it off and go to linear. All right, slight adjustments, but for the most part, there's not a whole lot of change, right? So this is this is the you know the other part that I find fascinating is this the 60k level and, and the price action around it. But if we go from log to linear, you can see that a lot of the same patterns have played out. You have your downtrend that broke up. You have your uh, rounded top. You have even on linear or even on log here, you have this bull flag that broke upwards or falling wedge, depending on how you draw it. There's all these things don't change because we are confined to a price range. And as long as you are within this range, whether you're on log or linear, it doesn't really matter. So sometimes it's it's not a half bad idea when you know your range bound to flip between log and linear and see if there's something that maybe the market is respecting on one view versus the other. So sometimes uh, there's a new coin that is dropped. Maybe it's Shiba Inu. Uh, or maybe it's ApeCoin or whatever. And maybe that coin is dropped on an exchange where when you log into the exchange and you look at it, you know, on the exchange's interface, it is defaulted to linear. Okay, so, so you know, Jack uses logs specifically, but the guys actually doing the buying and selling on that exchange, all they see is the linear version of it. So maybe that they are seeing patterns and trading things and setups that I wouldn't even see. So if, especially on the new coin, the new drops, if, if that's something you like to do, uh, it is important to see, hey, on the one or two exchanges that this thing just dropped on, how do how do their retail buyers and sellers, how do they actually see it? Because it will affect the price action. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it this time. Thank you for your support. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash CryptoJack and also on Twitter at underscore CryptoJack. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.